Hi there, we are going down to Stillavata's campsite number six. We haven't been on number six before, it was still being built when we were last here. And it's a Monday, they've got a pensioner special on with a very, very good rate. And uh, we haven't been here for about a year and a half, so I thought I'd make an updated video of the area, and especially showing the new campsite. We're here for four nights. We've got uh, two friends joining us tonight for two nights, and another two friends coming tomorrow. We're we'll here for the rest of the week. Hi there, it's early morning on our third day here. Uh, you can hear noise of a tractor in the background, probably. probably. There's a working farm and the uh, grape harvest is now on. It's an automatic um, mechanical harvester that you can hear in the background. And I thought I'd uh, just show you campsite number six that we're on. It's the first time we've been here since this campsite was built. It's very, very large. Here's the LARPA area, a little <coughs> swimming pool, it's probably about <coughs> six meters long, it's not very big, and then behind it is a quite a large hot tub that we've been using, and a fire pit to uh, dry your meat on. We'll go and take a look in the LARPA area now. Right, this is the LARPA area, it's got a nice big fridge freezer in it, um, some work surfaces, and plenty of plugs put our own table and chairs in here. I uh, prefer the <coughs> own chairs to these benches. And a wash-up area with Colin hard at work washing last night's dishes. Here's a few of the dry area and the hot tub behind it, which heated up very nicely with the little, what we call donkey boiler, uh, which you like fire in on the right hand side. This is a little <coughs> wooden hut that they're building for people to sleep in uh, who don't have a caravan or tents. So if you have friends who don't actually camp, they can still come and join you. This one's not complete yet. Uh, it's just an empty shell, but they will be putting a bed and tables and chairs, etc. in it. And here are the ablution blocks. Consists of four actually full bathrooms and four separate toilets. And there's another little self-catering chalet on the left-hand side of the four toilets, toilets there. Between each two bathrooms is a little scullery wash-up area. And here's a view of the interior of one of the bathrooms sink, toilets and shower, all built in the, with the no, local natural river stones. Here's the other little self-catering chalet next to the ablutions. And it's got its own little area here and unfortunately the door's locked. We can see inside the window, I'll see if I can get a picture or two or some footage. This is inside the little chalet, I'm filming through the window and as you can see there's a double bed and a little sort of kitchen area at the other end of it. Looks pretty comfortable. And this is the view looking back towards the campsite. As you can see it's very very large and they have a system here that this campsite uh, you pay for a minimum of 15 people and I'm not sure what the maximum is. I would think probably about 30. And uh, during the week they have a special and uh, they waive that minimum uh, occupancy charge and just charge um, pensioners 100 rand per person per day, so it's very, very reasonable. <laughs> 